Hello again. This time we're going to create our, our object properties. Remember that we, we have two types of properties here, or maybe three types actually. Uh, but the ones we're concerned about now is object properties and data properties. Object properties, they usually describe relationships between uh, two instances or two individuals of classes, whereas uh, uh, data properties, they describe uh, uh, relationships between instances and data values as, as we'll see in uh, one of the coming videos now as we explained before we have two properties teachers and studies so a student a student studies a module and a lecturer teaches a module uh, one thing that we should remember is that we need to save our ontology locally so we'll save it somewhere uh, uh, we'll choose rdfxml uh, I believe OWL XML has a bug in it, so we'll use RDF XML, and then we'll. Uh, there you, I have another one there called uh, University, so I'll try to save it maybe in my home folder, and I'll call it University as I named it in in in, in my first on my second video University. Dot OWL. Keep the name consistent to avoid any uh, problems. So we'll save it, and we'll make sure we save it every now and then and now we're trying to create our object properties so we go to object properties tab and then uh, every object property is uh, a child of top object property so we'll go there and we'll get a sub property and we'll call it teaches for example say ok and then we explained before that a lecturer teaches uh, a module so we need to um, uh, specify the domain and range so for uh, teachers the domain <coughs> is lecture we add domain class hierarchy person lecturer and the range is a module the range is a module and then we add another object property a sub property of top object property and this time it's studies and as we did uh, for teachers the domain here is student and the range is module that's it for the properties nice and simple uh, in the next video we'll start creating our data properties and after that individuals and we'll see how things work always remember to save it every now and then and see you in the next video bye bye now